Saint Charles Borromeo was an Archbishop of Milan who was a leading figure in the Counter-Reformation combat against the Protestant Reformation. The Catholic Church commemorates his feast day on November 4. Charles came from the ancient and wealthy Borromeo family in Lombardy. His father was the Count of Arona. His mother was a member of the House of Medici. He was the second son of six children, born in the castle of Arona on October 2, 1538. At 12, Charles received the tonsure. It was also during this time that the income from the rich Benedictine abbeys, one of their family's perks, was entrusted to him. Yet, he decided that all revenues beyond what he needed to prepare him for a career in the church belonged to the poor. Charles studied civil and canon law at the University of Pavia. After his father died in 1554, Charles took over the family's domestic affairs. On December 6, 1559, he earned a doctorate in canon and civil law. Towards the end of the year, his uncle, Cardinal Giovanni Angelo Medici, was elected Pope Pius IV. On January 13, 1560, Pope Pius IV appointed Charles as a protonotary apostolic. By the end of January 1560, he was made a cardinal, overseeing the public and the privy seal of the ecclesiastical state. A week later, he was appointed an administrator of the Archdiocese of Milan. In 1561, Cardinal Borromeo founded a college at Pavia, known today as Almo Collegio Borromeo. During 1562-63, he organized the third and last session of the Council of Trent. He also obliged the Roman Curia to wear black and established an academy of learned persons called the Academy of the Vatican Knights. When his older brother died, his family urged him to return to the lay state where he could marry and have children. However, he became more strict, lived an operative Christian life, and decided not to leave the ecclesiastic state. He put into practice the bishop's duties as drafted at the Council of Trent. To practice the role of bishop, he was ordained priest and later as bishop in the Sistine Chapel in 1563. Then, he was appointed Archbishop of Milan which he formally assumed on September 23, 1565. After the death of Pius IV in 1566, Cardinal Borromeo helped elect Antonio Guilieri as the next pope and took the name Pius V. Archbishop Borromeo devoted to reform the Diocese of Milan, the largest archdiocese in Italy with more than 3,000 clergy and 800,000 people, but had no previous archbishops during the last 80 years. It is said that at the time he took over the diocese, both its clergy and laity had drifted from church teaching, selling indulgences and ecclesiastical positions, among other concerns. With his urging, churches were designed in conformity with the decrees of the Council of Trent. He divided the church into two compartments to separate the sexes at worship. He established seminaries, colleges, and communities for the education of candidates for holy orders. He founded the Fraternity of Oblates of St. Ambrose, a society of secular men who did not take orders but devoted themselves to the church and followed a discipline of monastic prayers and study. He also included the initiation of the first Sunday school classes and the work of the Confraternity for Christian Doctrine. His reforms faced opposition from several religious orders, which resulted in a failed assassination by a member of the Humiliati, also known as the Brothers of Humility. His survival was considered miraculous. During the famine of 1576, the governor and many nobilities fled the city, but he remained, organized the care, and fed almost 70,000 people daily. He then wrote to the governor and successfully persuaded him to return. In his apostolic visit to all the cantons of Switzerland in 1583, 150 people, 11 of whom were women and the provost, were arrested because of practicing witchcraft and sorcery and were condemned by the civil authorities to be burned alive. Borromeo's encouragement of Ludwig Pfeiffer in developing the Golden League organization, also called the Borromean League, became the center of Catholic counter-reformation efforts determined to expel heretics. This created severe strains in the Swiss civil administration and caused the breakup of Appenzell Canton along religious lines. 
His reforms based on the Council of Trent brought him more conflict with secular leaders, priests, and even the Pope. The governor of the province and many of the senators addressed complaints to the courts of Rome and Madrid. In 1584, during his annual retreat at Monte Varallo, he fell ill with intermittent fever and ague, and upon returning to Milan, his condition rapidly deteriorated. He died on November 3, 1584. Following his death, devotion to Archbishop Borromeo grew quickly, and his death anniversary was celebrated as though he was already a saint. In 1602, Pope Clement VIII beatified Borromeo. Two years later, his case was sent to the Congregation of Rites. On November 1, 1610, Pope Paul V canonized Borromeo. Three years later, the Church added his feast to the general Roman calendar for celebration on November 4. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.